Marine accidents happen all the time, causing millions of dollars in damage. And you won't believe some of the stuff we found. On February 28, 2019, a captain who had a little too much to drink steered the Russian cargo ship Seagram into the Guangdong Baekdeo Bridge in Busan, South Korea. In the footage, you can see the ship collide hard with the bridge, causing cars to suddenly stop. Both the ship and the bridge were heavily damaged. On August 15, 2012, a Hong Kong fishing boat with 14 Chinese activists had landed in disputed territory and was being chased by two Japanese Coast Guard patrol boats. The two boats ended up capturing the fishing boat as they closed in on each side. Or lost, the ship was going to be scrapped and it was purpose. In 2019, a huge 13-deck cruise ship, the MSC Opera, lost control of its engines, which led to a crash into a dock and a smaller boat called Are You Wondering How It Survived at All. In 2018, people on a smaller boat had their cameras going as they watched a 740-foot tanker make its way towards an 18th century million-dollar waterfront mansion. The Vita Spirit was said to have dropped anchor to stop, but it didn't and smashed into the historic mansion, ripping off part of its roof and corners of the historic building. In 2017, the Ptolemy bulk carrier smashed into the Turkish Coast Guard boat, which was directly in front of it. The bow of the Ptolemy strikes the smaller boat and spins it around. As the ship passes, the SG-25 Coast Guard boat could be seen capsized. The Ptolemy did not stop and kept sailing as if nothing happened. On February 24, 2020, the giant tanker Stellar Banner ran aground and developed a heavy starboard tilt into the water. The crew was evacuated and the vessel was refloated so that the salvage teams could remove 3,500 tons of fuel oil and its 275,000 tons of iron ore cargo. But it was found that the ship could not be repaired and it was deliberately scuttled. Dramatic footage was captured of the 440,924 ton ship as it sinks into the water and the sounds as it sinks is eerily incredible. On October 7, 2019, the CSL Virginia container ship was hit by the ferry Ulysses, which punched a huge hole in the side of the tanker and released thick crude oil that washed up along beaches near Corsica. The accident happened because the watch officer aboard the Tunisian Ulysses was talking on his phone at the time of the accident and did not notice the CSL Virginia had anchored in an unusual spot. The tanker also had its deck lights lit and had been detected by the ferry's radar more than an hour before the accident. It took five days to separate the two ships and cost millions of dollars in damage. Our next big ship accident involves the $39 million mega yacht Yogi. In footage shot aboard a helicopter, the yacht can be seen on its side in choppy seas and bad weather as the crew are evacuated. The reason the million dollar boat sank was due to one of the engines overheating and there was a failure at the stern door that let water in. The second engine failed and the boat eventually sank in five hours. The entire crew was rescued, uninjured, if not a bit cold. Back in March 2013, video footage was captured showing two cargo vessels that were too close together. The larger 57,770-ton Bexalil cargo ship is shown right on the tail of a smaller Vietnamese cargo ship, which is blindly veering into its path. With its horns blaring, the Bexalil hits the cargo ship, pulling off one of the slowest pit maneuvers ever caught on camera. The Coast Guard was called, but luckily no one was injured. But we do know there must have been some damage to both ships. In December 2019, passengers aboard two cruise ships were shaken when the two ships collided at the port of Cozumel in Mexico. Carnival Glory was trying to dock when the bow of the smaller Carnival Legend ripped a hole across its back end, taking out a big chunk of the ship. No one is certain what caused the crash, but bad weather and high winds were blamed. No one was seriously hurt, and all passengers who just witnessed the crash were told to have a nice time in Cozumel. In this footage, someone captures the moment a cruise ship named Excellent crashes into a big cargo loading barge. 
Workers on the barge are seen running for their lives as one of the giant cranes collapses, landing on cargo and starting a fire. Stormy weather and rough water was to blame for the accident, and there was nothing excellent about this. In fact, that the Turkals 8 was intentionally run aground so that it could be dismantled. In this footage, you can see where one cargo ship tries to pass too closely by the Junolata cargo passenger ship. It looks like the big ship will squeeze by and make it okay, but then disaster happens and the back end of the Junolata smashes into the lifeboats on the side of the passing ship as they fall into the water. Nobody was hurt, but there was some significant damage and somebody had some explaining to do. Sometimes shipping accidents aren't out at sea, and in April 2014, video was captured of the 610-foot container ship Hansa Constitution veering off course and heading for the football field at the University of Hong Kong. If you look closely, rust clouds come off the anchor chains as the giant ship comes to a stop just before the field. The accident was blamed on loss of power and high winds. In July 2013, the Mole Comfort cargo ship was loaded with 4,382 full-size containers and 7,041 smaller containers headed from Singapore to Saudi Arabia. But the ship couldn't handle the weight and the hulls started to break in the middle. The crew was rescued from the ship safely, but later the ship broke into two pieces, caught fire, and then sank. Cargo ships can have accidents without breaking in two, though. And recently, the ship One Epus found itself in a nasty Pacific storm and suffered a massive container stack collapse where it was carrying 14,000 20-foot containers. Of those, 1,816 containers were filled with batteries, fireworks, and two containing liquid ethanol, ending up falling into the ocean and sinking. A loss of over $200 million. Luckily, no one was injured and the ship made it back safely to port. We're not sure what ship this is or who the captain is, but seconds before it starts to move under a bridge, it's clear there isn't enough room as parts of the ship are ripped off and crew members start to run for their lives. But that's not all. Apparently the ship was moving under two bridges at the same time. And you can hear the nasty sound of crunching metal as more of the ship on the other end doesn't clear the bridge. In New Zealand, in October 2011, a cargo ship carrying containers with crude oil ran aground on the Astrolabe Reef, which resulted in New Zealand's worst maritime environmental disaster. Footage shows the ship listing heavily one side into the water, where later the entire ship finally sunk. The ship's captain and second officer were responsible and spent seven months in prison for operating a vessel and causing unnecessary risk or danger to person and property. You have to wonder what the two captains of these ships were doing. But it looks like a bad game of chicken and they both lost. The 12,700 ton heavy lift vessel the Alanis and the 14,000 ton bulker Florence Spirit are shown in footage headed straight for each other. No horns or collision alarms were sounded when suddenly the two ships collide with an incredible crunching sound. Luckily, no one was injured, and the two ships came to a stop after the collision. Bonus topic. While this isn't an accident, you'd have to admire how these giant cargo ships operate and the massive amount of cargo they can carry. You're looking at the C-SPAN Phoenix, a barge that is carrying a huge amount of logs. After a while, it looks like the Phoenix is going to sink, leaning heavy to one side. But nope. The barge can take on water so that it tilts to one side and dumps its cargo of logs in the water. That's all we got for now. Make sure to slap that like button, click subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more cool videos.